The name Euro actually is an acronym. It means enlightenment under rule and oppression. It means like how I'm, I come from the ghetto and everything, but I still see things in a more positive light in a bigger picture. And League is just a nickname that I had since I was like a little kid. So I just put both of them together to be distinct. They thought Shady was crazy. These ladies' babies ain't playing safely in shock information. You faggots play the safety. I'm killing every organism. You the type to abort the mission. But me, I'm more devilish than an organ rhythm. All pharmacists dispensing pills with a false prescription. Fuck that. I'm trying to overdose on Viking. In the war with the guards over the Titans kids Bring them Vikings in I do more dirt than Joe Dirt Take the clap, get mullet Cause Neo would leave with a Well, it was just an outlet just to speak my mind I had a lot of things going on You know, like a lot of pain I was feeling like mentally You know what I'm saying? Physically I ain't have no way to express that Once I got into like writing everything out I just had to like, you know I just felt like that was my talent And it started to show And everyone started to, you know Just realize like, yo, you could really actually write And then, you know, doing music it gives me something, you know, just something to prove. I don't want to let people down if they see that I have this talent. I'm smarter than niggas. I don't rap to try to prove that I'm harder than niggas. I don't rap to get these bitches to honor a nigga. I don't rap and have hope for doing songs with Jigga. I do rap to improve all the hearts of my niggas. I do rap to spit some lights till the dawns of my niggas. Being an independent artist, man, it's, it's hard work, man, you know what I'm saying? Because everything is done by you. And then you gotta realize that you still have priorities and obligations to take care of just as a regular, you know, working working person. Or if you're not working, there's still responsibilities with family and you know what I'm saying, things like that. You do sacrifice a lot of things at home and with family and everything and time that you wanna spend with people that you really care about. Just perseverance is just you know what I'm saying? Once you start seeing that it's possible, you just keep going for it. You know what I'm saying? Once you start seeing little things happen that you that wasn't happening a couple months back, you say, you know what I'm saying? This is possible, so let me just keep going at it. So Real Life is a music collective that I started with my partner and Pete Williams. We've always been doing music since like eighth grade. And so we knew that this was something that we wanted to, you know, make into a profession. We already knew you were serious, so he said, yo, let's take it to the next level. So real life basically means like we took the definition from like the feel of our music and people always say, yo, you guys have like substance. You guys are talking about real life events and, you know, things that's really going on in your life and people really, are, you know, they're really listening to it. When I'm making music, I just, whenever I hear like an instrumental or whatever or just a idea, I really try to just picture it happening, like I close my eyes sometimes and I just kind of picture the visuals happening. And then I'm just expressing those visuals in writing form as vivid as I can, depending on whatever I'm talking about. So I try to just envision it first and then I just write out what I see. This time, I take it higher than cloud nine, so rob me as I take this journey through my mind's eye. Up to this point, I'm assuming you know my story, but it's two sides to those, so I gotta watch how they corn me before they say that I'm two-faced when Hollywood and that too fake. I take them to my grandmama's house, I'm this ghetto too flake. 229 between Poland and Laconia, remember having asthma attacks, but catch pneumonia at my grandmama's house. If you're from the ghetto, then you know, most likely you, you understand what I'm saying when I say your grandmother's plastic covered couch. Basically what that means is like you and your childhood and you know seeing the, your elders, you know, them grow up and you know people become who they are or some of them pass and those certain memories that you try to keep alive to let people know, you know, that these people was, these people was here, they existed it, and you know they made you the person that you are today. So I felt like just the metaphor of the couch being the memories and the plastic preserving those memories, you know what I'm saying? And something that everybody could relate to, then hopefully, you know? So just that metaphor, put that together. The social networking song is just, it's based off of like me seeing things in the underground circuit, in the music circuit out here in New York City. People could be humble and work together, you know what I'm saying? Egos keep some people back from certain opportunities because of how they're viewed from certain other people. And I like, I knew it was a good track. So many people just, gravitating towards the record and leaving comments on 
everything is saying, yo, this track is fire. And then the people that recognize it, posted it up on the websites and everything, that just shows me that I'm doing something, I'm doing something right and just being consistent with everything. That plastic covered couch, how could furniture be so sacred? It holds the stories of those before me that never made it. Drake, my father, 40 ounce, when he went to the bathroom, he knew someone was missing, but we were just sitting that cool, too intoxicated to spot the matrix that we all slaves. And Stephen Fell had first from that balcony, survived like it's Nathan, reminiscing when my father smashed Teresa's windshield. I seen it from my grandmama's porch, nigga, that shit's real. And birthdays was the worst days, so we sipped that St. Oz and let that curse raise. I always make music, my grandmother would ask me for my CD. But she R.I.P. before my release And now you call me E-League My songs on radios and TV screens I told you life was real But do you believe me? Mm. Shade 45, what's up? It's Euro League in the <laughs> building Real Life, man Yo, what's good? It's Euro League I represent Real Life, Bronx, New York And I'm here chilling with Blow Hip Hop TV